Tony Katz, great to be with you. 239-9393. Facebook, Tony Katz Radio. Be sure to like the page. It's time to stop listening to the mainstream media about guns. Now, you could say to me, Tony, that was time months ago, nay, years ago. But no, um, this whole conversation that we've been having uh, uh, post-Parkland, post-Marjorie Stoneman Douglas and the murder of 17, uh, grown-ups need to have this conversation about what to do. Uh, And the mainstream media are not grown-ups. The mainstream media, uh, network media, are nothing more than little children uh, who will spout anything, quite literally anything, without asking themselves whether or not what they're saying makes any sense. They don't care about making sense. They don't care about having facts. They care about pushing a the, really this this horrifying agenda about a gun ban. A gun ban is a horrifying agenda. So we're perfectly clear. You cannot be more free by taking away rights. It's not the way it works. Ask Venezuela. Ask China. Get back to me. But the latest from MSNBC and Lawrence O'Donnell, um, th- there is no word that I can come up uh, with that will properly describe this level of insanity. Because Lawrence O'Donnell on his show, in discussing why it's important, it's, it, it, is, it is vital that we start uh, you know, banning uh, the AR-15, uh, said, and, and allow me to, to, to quote here, uh, he said that a, a bullet fired from an AR-15 travels three times faster than one from a handgun, and yet the president and the NRA think giving teachers guns will stop a school shooter. Pause. You cannot, in the time that I have here, and I do five hours of day, of radio five hours a day of radio and i do not have the time to explain how ignorant and daft that statement is as a matter of uh, straight physics yes the best data i could find would show that let's say a 38 special round would sh- would when fired right that round would go at 1000 feet per second and a, a, a 5.56 which would come out of a uh, of an ar-15 you know, a 223, uh, but a 5.56 would come out at 3,000 feet per second. So the, um, the, uh, the 38 special round, right, the 38 would, would, would come out um, at 681 miles an hour. That's the data that I, that I found. And the, the uh, 5.56 round would come out at 2,045 miles an hour. So as a matter of physics, yes, the, the, uh, the rounds coming out of the AR-15 is three times faster than, let's say, a, a, a handgun we're using a 38 in this example. That said, why in the world would Lawrence O'Donnell or anybody else at MSNBC or CNN or this facocta level of mainstream media not think that you couldn't take someone out with a handgun? The bullet coming out, the projectile coming out of the AR-15 may be faster, but the shooter isn't faster? All of a sudden, there's a flash. I'm in a DC comic. They're able to zig and zag and make their way through. And all of a sudden, they're able to, they're Neo in the Matrix. They're just bending over everywhere and the bullets are just flying by. Do the laws of physics not apply everywhere? Let me ask you a question. You're on an airplane. You get up, the airplane's going at, what was it, 550 miles an hour, let's say. And then you get up and go to the bathroom. As you walk to the front of the plane to go to the bathroom, are you going faster than the plane? What is wrong with people? Because a bullet comes out a, a faster, three times faster, doesn't mean that somebody with a firearm can't take the shooter out. The shooter isn't moving three times faster. What is wrong with you? Is, uh, how ignorant and foolhardy are the people in mainstream media? They get television shows. He's making millions of dollars to push this out as if it's somehow science. It's not science. He's a schmuck. Why can't we just say so? He needs to be called a schmuck. By the way, he should be called into an office right there in MSNBC and say, Lawrence, listen, caught that uh, report you just did. You're a schmuck. All right, good talk. And then send him on his way. It is absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't beat, however, Dianne Feinstein, the senator from California, who said, and I'm quoting here, um, uh, uh, she's linking to a Rolling Stone article, a handgun wound is simply a stabbing with a bullet. Her idea being, of course, that if the, the, the being hit by a, a projectile from an AR-15 would leave a bigger wound. Um, it's a stabbing uh, with a bullet, she said. Uh, clearly, uh, she, she's never been hit by a forty-five. These people 
cannot be trusted to have a rational conversation. They avoid science. They hate science. They want to move the ideology, and the ideology is to take away your rights. It is obvious, it is clear, and yes, it must be fought. As for MSNBC, if you ever want to hire anybody who, you know, thinks science is real, call me, because Lawrence O'Donnell is a freaking flat earther, just in case you were wondering. I'm Tony Katz. A long season now.